you want to create a multi-level map in Foundry that feels good for your players when they bounce between the different floors of the building or a spaceship or whatever. And that's what we're going to talk about how to do in this video. First thing you're going to need is the levels mod and the wall height mod, though I believe if you go to install the levels mod, it'll just automatically throw the wall height mod in there with it because it is required. All right, so once you have those mods, the next thing that you will need to make your map is going to be the map. You can get your map a couple different ways. If you're running a pre-written module and you just want to take their map, you can load it into like Photoshop or some other software and you could edit out like the background and like holes, things like that. Uh, but that's not my favorite method. I'd rather use something like Dungeon Draft uh, or other map making software that lets you well, make the map how you want. Dungeon Draft, for example, you can stack all of the buildings on top of each other and you can sort them by the different levels and you can turn off the background and you can crop the image to specific sizes when you want to export it and you can decide what format you want to export it at. I like doing WebP for my tiles. Yeah, the other is the Grid PPI. Uh, make sure you remember what you set that to when you export your map. I've done other videos and I might make some more going into the details of making the maps. That's not what the focus is for this video. This video, the focus is on how to put them all into your world. So let's jump on to Foundry and uh, let's make it happen. Well, the last video got messed up, so we're back with a new shirt and ready to jump into Foundry. First thing that we're going to do, we got to create a new scene. Uh, we're going to call this one Fort. And first thing I'm going to do is pull in my background which I have titled background. Here is the background. Uh, you may notice that some of these are not lined up properly. There's a really easy fix. When I exported it, I said, remember what your PPI was set to? Um, and mine was set to 150, so I will set that to 150. When it comes to testing, I'm gonna put on global illumination and uh, we're gonna hit save changes. All right, so then we're going to want to come over here and set up our elevation. Edit levels, add new one. Um, do I want to start with the lowest or start with the highest? Here, we'll start with the lowest. We'll say cellar, which will be negative 10 to 0. Then we want our first floor or our ground floor to be from 0 to 10. And then we want our second floor to be from 10 to 20. All right, and starting at our first floor, let me turn off edit and select this one. So now this is only looking at level zero through 10. And what's cool is now when I import tiles, so I'll come over here and select a tile to bring in, it is only going to bring in, or excuse me, it's when it brings in the tile, it's going to automatically set it to zero to 10. And I think this is first main, yeah. So I did leave this little pillar on both of them so that, that makes it very easy for me to line that one up appropriately. And then a lot of things are just gonna be lined up off of that. So I'm gonna speed this up for your benefit, but I'm just pulling each of the pieces in. And with that first level selected, it's pulling them all in at the correct height from zero to 10. And I just double check that with each of them. Then I click over to the second level, pull in all of those. I also pull in a little roof for the stable, which I mess up, but I will fix in a little bit. And then when I get to the roof, you'll notice I close out of that because the roof should be from 20 to infinity, which is what I start setting in just a second. There we go. I pull the roof in and then you'll see I set the bottom to 20 and leave the top at infinity. All right. So now that we've got all of this stuff pulled in, let's go ahead and add all of the walls and stairs. And so this is going to happen in fast forward for all of you. But when I have this cellar layer or level selected, the walls will automatically be set to negative 10 up to zero, which is exactly what we want. Man, I wish I could actually edit walls this fast. Can I go even faster? Who doggy. All right, once you have all the walls in, you'll go over to the drawing tool and let's go ahead and add our stairs. Let's throw some stairs right here. And if you click into it, you will notice that it says from 0 to 9. It will take it up to 10. It'll go about a foot. I don't know why I said about. It will go a foot higher than the top of the stairs. Uh, from this little overview, you'll see it does say 0 to 10, which is what we want. So I will quickly add the rest of the first floor stairs. And all of those stairs go up. 
from the cellar, we'll have these stairs go up and these stairs go up. It will make the stairs from the level you're on going up. I don't need to do anything on this level. So if I pull in a token, for the stairs going down to the cellar, I just dropped them on the lower floor. But when I walk here, it will pull my person down to the lower floor and then back up. Same deal, going up to the upper floor. And then back down to the lower floor. So when you put the stairs at the bottom, they automatically connect to the top of the stairs. So all the stairs on the second floor, I don't actually have to add any stairs because they all just go down to the first floor. The next thing that you may want to do are uh, is to add like balconies and things like that. So on the second floor, I might want to add this up here as a overhead token so that you can see it from below. The reason being is on the bottom floor, this is just a solid wall, so I didn't add anything on the lower floor. And so you just see darked out squares, whereas what we would like them to see is this right here. And so we will make all of these, we will make all of these overhead tokens that you can see. This is just how far below that you can see. They're 10 feet up, so we can leave them 10. Um, I believe we can leave them blank as well. So let's uh, just double check that. Yeah, you can leave it blank as well. And so no matter how high up it is, you'll always be able to see it or no matter how low we are. So this we could go negative 60. We can't see the other one, we can see this one. And so that's just how that works. Now, once we have those, I'm not making these to where you can see them when we're, you're below them because they have a little roof where there's these uh, ballista deals. I believe I can hold shift, click all of them, and do this all at once. Perfect. So now if we go back over here to the view, this is what it should be. When you walk up to the gate, the roof will disappear, and you can see the gate. I didn't add the walls to the tower, but there would be a door here. When you walk in the door, the overhead one disappears. Cool. A couple slight issues. You'll notice we have a roof, but the roof is hidden from Fog of War. Here, let me actually pull this in from a player's view. All right, so this is my player's view. Um, and a quick kind of issue with some things is you can't see the roof. So half the time, roofs are pointless. I am confused why I'm not seeing this roof right here should be visible. Um, that's why. That roof works. Cool, 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 cool. But you can't see the other roof. And it's just kind of one of those things. I've played with some of the different settings, and it just doesn't seem to work very well. Uh, another issue really quick that I will just uh, point out and a quick way to fix it is if a, uh, a cheeky player bumps themselves up above all of the uh, the elevation of all of the things, and then they drop them back down. Roof looks good, but the problem is that as soon as they walk underneath, you'll notice that there's all of these rooms that they have not seen, and they can't see if there's people in them, but they can see the full layout of the building. And that is not what they should be seeing. A very easy way to fix that is just to turn off the fog exploration, reset fog of war, and now they can try and be as cheeky as they want, but they're only going to see what they should be seeing. But the stairs work. We can go down into the cellar. I forgot to add the doors. And we have a fully functional base. So now I want to talk a little bit about balconies and issues with balconies. There are instances where it works just fine. 
So for example, what we have going on over here, these are set as balconies. If I were to drop another token on there, player can run around, see the token. Um, they disappear when they walk under this because that is technically a balcony. And this functions exactly how you would expect it to. The issue runs into when the walls for the balcony are different than the walls for below. For example, this is a balcony here. So you would ideally like to be able to have one of the tokens down here, seeing a token up on that balcony. So what you would have to do is select this and say, see when below, and maybe, you know, we'll actually add a, uh, you know, you can only see it from uh, 10 feet below, and we're gonna hit save. So. This fella can see the token from up above. When he walks under, it disappears and we can see down below. You may notice there's kind of an issue in that, and I'll pull this over to the player's view. There we go. Um, he can see into these bedrooms that he should not be able to see, and it is blocking some of the balcony over here to the right and part of the balcony on the left. And if I bump him up to 10 feet to be on that level, you'll see what I'm talking about. Now we can no longer see into the bedrooms and we can see the balcony over here. So if, if this dude was on the balcony right here and we drop him back down there, he cannot see him. So player's view, he can see that there is something there by the, the plus 10 feet and he can hover over and see that there's a token there, but he can't really see him, and he should be able to, and then again, we can he can see into the bedrooms, which he shouldn't, because of the walls and the lighting. I have not found a fix for this. I will make an update to this video when I do, but balconies don't really work in this instance. Even if I were to go over to, so Bailey Wiki has a, uh, has a demo showing off some of the features of this and still running into some of the same issues. From this view, again, we can do some of the same cheesy stuff. Go up to 40 feet, back down to zero. You'll notice that you can still see through all the walls, which that's just kind of how that works. You gotta turn the fog of war off. And then what he does with his balcony is he makes it where it never disappears. So it looks like I'm on the balcony. Really, I'm underneath it. That's just a visual thing. And if I were to go over to the stairs, it bumps me up top. And now I'm actually on top of this, this I call it balcony, but you know, this ledge. Um, if I pull a, another person in, you can see that somebody there is underneath. You can still see him. And from this other person's perspective, you can see him popping up on top. Very easy to see. If you don't have balconies, specifically like this and there are some ways to kind of play with it and get around it but if you don't have balconies like this if you have balconies like in the other example or if you have balconies kind of like this where there's walkways where people could be on the walkways or people might be up on these towers uh then it works just fine so this is my guide on how to use the levels mod and create a very smooth functional multi-level buildings uh, for most buildings, it's, it's going to be perfectly fine. Please let me know in the comments if anyone knows how to fix the balcony issues. I have spent a lot of time trying to figure out a solution to it, which I have not been able to. I think that they just need to update it, and then it will be fixed. But, uh, but I will keep everyone posted for when I find a solution or when a fix is created for that. I hope this video helped you. If it did, give it a like, and I will see you next time.